Hello there, Julie here and I'm going to share with you today how I made this little card. I started off by stamping my Ickle Pumpkin from the set onto the masking sheet and cutting them out three times. Now I've got a piece of multivarious card that measures roughly six centimetres, sorry, yeah, six centimetres by 14 and a half. I'm going to just add a little bit of masking tape to the bottom of my card just to protect it. And a little piece to the side. This is the low tack masking tape that Lavinia sell. Now, I'm going to use Versifying Clay in the Nocturne. I'm going to stamp my pumpkin just in from the side. That's probably about four centimetres. Four centimetres? I'm going to place one of the little masks, I've already taken it off its background, off its backing sheet. And I'm going to place over the top so that when I stamp the next pumpkin, part of it's, only part of it's been stamped. And the masking sheet has protected the other part. I'm going to stamp a third pumpkin. I'm just changing the angle slightly each time. And place a masking sheet on it. Now these are brilliant. You can use them multiple times. I think I've used these ones about five times. I'm going to use Distress Oxide in Peeled Paint and the Silhouette Grass Stamp. Now I wouldn't usually use a Distress Oxide on a Silhouette Stamp, but it's perfect for this purpose because I want it to have an almost water watercolour effect. So I'm going to stamp it on so it sits underneath the pumpkins and again just so that it creates some sort of dimension second stamp in and again to the side. I don't want it to come to the very end of the card. I want that area to be white. Now I'm going to lift up the tape and remove the little masks. backing sheets here put them back on too ready for next time I'll go back to those ones in a second but as you can see it looks a nice little friendly trio there so I'm going to come in with a little bit of water on my brush I'm also going to have a bit of a kitchen roll on hand in case I make, make it too wet. I just want to soften the bottom line just with a wet brush. There you are. And now I'm going to colour up my pumpkins with a brush. And I'm going to use the russet orange in the Elements ink. Just dab a little bit into the lid. And with a damp brush, I'm going to colour them in. Obviously, the more water you add, the paler the pumpkins will be. Like 
Let's get a piece of kitchen roll on hand so that I don't come outside the lines. You can take more time over this than I am. You can see Tracy always adds dimension to her stamps with her dotting to the background, so it isn't essential. To add more or, or different colour links to create it yourself. But if you want to, you can. How cute do they look? That's my brush. I might just use bit of the olive and the elements to colour the top part of the pumpkin where it would join the vine. I think I'm going to just come in quick and dry this. spooky spider this is from one of the I think it's called the bug set yeah bugs and there's two spiders in this set it's one that would hang from the thread and this one that can just sit perfectly on the grass almost a Got my Versafine there. I'm going to have just a little snippet of card and this stamp, which is called Winter Spice. Now, I want just the words Hello Autumn, which I know just about here on the stamp. And I'm going to stamp it onto a snippet of card. Press down. And you can see the part that I want is just, just here. So I'm going to cut it out freehand. You could use a guillotine, but I like the I like jaunty angles really. I think it gives a nicer effects if you've just cut them out for each end and I'm going to stick that onto a piece of black card a little bit of um, glue with one of those little bippity boppity glues once you've got more control with those Getting and leaving it off my order. Right, give that a little trim. Just leaving a little outline. A little bit more glue. And that's just going to go to the top there. Slightly wrong angle. That's the beauty of using a little bit of wet glow. You can just give it a move around. Now, I'm going to use a micron pen and just add a little squiggly line 
just freehand. Yeah, and I'm also going to add just a few little squid, like extra blades of grass to my pen. And a white Posca pen. Add some little dotty areas, like some little daisies on the grass. I don't know why I always put three in a row, but there you go. Add a few flicks of white into where I've added the black or the blades of grass with the black pen. Little highlight to my spider. Bit on my pumpkin. And then a few dots with my stickles. This one's called Crystal. I love the stickles. A few on the grass. And a few dots over the pumpkin. I think that's it. Just need to layer him onto black. one as you can see with my first one I spent slightly longer colouring the pumpkin in had a little bit of highlight to his eyes and added more dimension by putting a darker edge around him but this one I've kept him quite pale but you could map this onto a put this onto a larger card but to be honest I like making my own envelopes so I would make a smaller card with this one. But there you are. I hope you like them.